Hi guys, welcome back to Work in Project Hobbies. My name is Edwin. So today we're going to do something different because we know the over coming back actually is beginning of next year. So not only just the Britannia Army is announced, although the latest highlights show all Britannia Knights, but we also know that Tomb King also will be a part of the big release of the, uh, the over. So as I believe most of my friends know that I also really like Tomb King. So today we're going to be very special. We're going to paint a centerpiece character for Tomb King. I believe everyone who loves Tomb King definitely heard before Setra the Imperishable. So this time we're gonna show uh, about Setra and I'm gonna paint up Setra into the... Although, uh, of course, uh, I try to paint as high standard as possible. But of course, if you guys see there are something more can improve, uh, feel free to comment below. So I overall, I really like how I did and I'm pretty sure this is actually one of my... Uh, at moment, uh, it's one of the models that I put most many effort into it and hope you guys like it. So let's check it out now. So uh, first I start off that I want to do the base. So we know that the Setra base is actually two chariot sides. So I try to make the base more stable so I can stick them together. So to make my base more fancy or should say have more content, I actually uh, use uh, resin base which actually rolled by the green stuff paint of Egyptian king so here you can see I try and make some root floors and I try to break them apart and to stick them to form a bit more dynamic bases so here you can see I try to cut off the edges to show that it's um, much more have those uh, platforms uh, bricks thickness and try to make this like uh, central is wrapping through all the runes and here I'm trying to test it out but I put a horse lah. so for the left side horse uh, because I'm trying to put the skeleton skull uh, movement so that's why there the horse uh, foot might have not a proper footing so I'm trying to adjust it to make sure it could stand on one of the rock pile which I'm gonna use uh, to, to stack on it so here is it's like pretty much like a test for whether all the horse should be on spot so that I can pin it down and uh, super glue them. So here I using PVA glue to fill up all those gaps before I can try to put those sand uh, texture and glue them on. So this is more like a testing and also to review each step before I go further and glue more stuff. Lah. So here you can see I try to look at the angle is it look proper. Then now, after finish priming, this is the end result of the base. I believe it's quite dynamic and also to show that Setra is a very heroic position. It's always climbing higher and trample all others, uh, Tomb King and all others enemies in this fantasy world. Of course, there's few spots that uh, priming did not really cover. I will touch up that later when uh, painting. So I usually like to prime them in black, then I build the contrast only to the lighter tone. So here you can see even though priming black, you still can see those Egyptian monuments uh, uh, details. So later with dry brush you can see. So here is pretty much uh, finished the bases and also the uh, dry brush of the four horse. Here I try to add more a uh, vibrant color of the sand brown and all those, those uh, golden sand so here of course continue dry brush and now for the monument of the skull the skeleton head i will use to paint it more into like a jade when to paint green i like to uh, base it with purple or blue color related uh, to show the contrast and actually build up here i use turquoise green uh, exact color is actually use uh, ripple paint uh, so here using the token's color to slowly build up and uh, I purposely made the head also more to purplish in the way it's actually want to hint that this is probably the previous uh, followers or maybe the arc enemy of the Camry which is actually Nagash so here I try to make more the team that even Setra destroy and also tramp over the influences of Nagash. So here uh, to build up the tone of course I slowly use uh, turquoise color or paint over to the uh, to the purple. Of course later we can tone down using contrast paint but now uh, pretty much is using just a dry brush 
to build out where the light should source should come from and you can see the contrast between the colors so now to show the scale i i want to highlight the details here i'm going to use a very bright uh edges mix of the turquoise and the white color and here also using dry brush technique uh, slowly to build out and also to show the details here i'm trying to achieve to like a jade feel color tone so uh, once it's dry actually you can see the color will really start popping up and actually it's really doing really well i'm really happy with the end result After highlighting, you can see actually the skull and the head actually quite similar color tone. So to show the difference, I use contrast base to tone it down again on the head. So you can see uh, the difference later is actually more uh, more pops up on the skull. So here you can see now for the skull it's really shining jade, but for the 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 head monument is actually more on the purple side, a blue color side. So of course, since I'm doing the jade color tone I'm also going to paint up the shield which is also Tumking famous color turquoise and those hairband and those fallen uh, warriors I will paint the hairband and also all the same color as turquoise yeah I'm still using also simple technique actually just a simple dry brush and just to show where's the light tone and by using a lighter tone and a darker tone you can see a really easy and nice pop-up contrast uh, effect shown. So here, as you can see, we know the light source is coming from the top. So always from the top, we're going to do lighter tone and we slowly build up to downwards. So you can see there's actually a really nice contrast. So I really like to use this technique and I guess it's a really uh, cool way to do it. You guys also can try to implement and your miniatures will look really good. So for the king chariot, of course there's a wing, uh, those uh, beetle wing. So here we are uh, gonna do turquoise color also to show uh, technically uh, jade, a light or those gem feelings, uh, gem color tone theme. So here in the same, I just use turquoise to highlight from the darker tone to the lighter tone to show the contrast. Okay, so now we're gonna review the end pro end result. So of course, this is how the book cover suggests how the set are gonna be. I still keep the box cause to be honest, uh, this is one of my favorite characters. So uh, I'm a collector. So in a way, I also collect some box. Although I'm not like uh, I'm not really a seal collector. Means I keep everything in seal. Uh, if I really like the thing, I actually like to play around. So uh, let's cut the chase. Uh, this is the end product. So this is the Setra, the imperishable. Technically, is the the coolest king in uh, Warhammer Fantasy. He's the only hero that actually asked the false chaos god to kiss their ass because Setra does not serve. Setra only rules. Okay, so later please skip to the end of the video because in the end of the video I will show a closer showcase of the entire model. But here we have a, sh a look through first. Uh. So this is technically the entire model. I use the color scheme, of course, I use a lot of turquoise blue and also red to show. I try not to make the color scheme very dull. I know although a lot of Tumking was just use gold and because maybe over time the color go down, but I want to show back the prime time of Tumking. So in the prime time of Tumking, I believe they use really vibrant color. They like to use red, like to use jade, turquoise, anything to show their prosperous. So technically, the blue colors we maybe we can do like it's like a imitation of like the jade or those gemstones. Uh, red color is very vibrant. I'm not too sure. I just really like red on chariot. So it really brings out the the tone, make the feel. And this is the king chariot. Uh, for the gold, I actually use technically not really a non-metallic uh, metal method lah, but it's a mix lah. I mix metallic paints and non-metallic to show the highlights. So uh, the banner, this is actually the Setra King banner. Oh, also, by the way, because this model, I got it in metal. 
although people say metal is more on to display but it's not really friendly for play but uh, it's the emperor it must be in the higher standard so this is the end result uh, the base of course I trying to do a bit like because we know that uh, Setra when he just uh, awoke from his sleep due to the Nagash special rules not special rules uh, then he picks magic just go amok and uh, awakes all the mummies Include Setra. So when Setra came out, imagine that all the dynasty kings are awakened. But there's only one king to rule. When all the kings, like your great grandson, your grandson, your son, your father, your grandfather, everyone used to be the king. And now everyone to rule. So of course, there's a lot of civil war. But uh, Setra doesn't care because Setra is the most badass king. He kicked all other tomb king ass and uh, make sure everyone to serve under him. And he unite the tomb king and fight against the Nakash. Nagash, uh, this model actually I got it from uh, third party, but technically it really suit the feel. Uh, he, I want to show that Setra technically uh, trample all others uh, dynasty or even influence of Nagash. You can see those traitors, not traitors, uh, the others, uh, tomb king that rule uh, or serve other kings. Technically, just got trampled by his chariot, run over, destroy create all those uh, monuments in the runes and only Setra shall stand and rule the entire um, fantasy so this is, will, will be a real centerpiece really nice piece to slay knights in future of course in the next set of Britonian this will be a really nice model to be on the table and of course for display so this is a wall I have not glued the model yet, so if you can see, actually this you can remove, we can have a closer look on the base. Then uh, I will, this model just freshly done, I will pretty seal it, matte, and will be on the shelf. But of course, I will not just keep it on shelf, uh, when the overs really come back, when the rules is released, I will actively use Setra. And let's rule the fantasy world again, with Tomb Kings. Yeah, so let's check out the showcase.
Hi guys, so that's all for today. So if you like uh, Tomb King or you like those uh, the old world Warhammer Fantasy army, uh, please like, comment, subscribe this channel and please don't forget to click the follow button. So in future when I update more content in the old world or even the Tomb King army, you will not miss out. So that's all for today. See you guys. Bye.